Hey everyone, Humzy plays here, and we're back to playing some more Pokemon Shield. So this is episode 36 of Pokemon Shield, and we're gonna be taking on the Champion Cup once again here. So it seems like these guys acknowledge us. So it's a new champion. Your battle had me in tears. What does this guy say? Challenger Humzy, I'll remember your name from now on. I've always loved how decisive your party is. Oh nice, so this guy finally has some different dialogue. Yeah, we're playing this game again. We're gonna see what else this game has to offer. And I'm not done playing this game yet, so let's talk to this guy. The unbeatable champion was defeated, and a new champion was born. We got to witness history being made. Yeah, that's right. I am the new champion. What do you have to say to us, little boy? Uh, excuse me, but could I get a handshake? Of course. Yeah, we talked to this boy before. But thank you so much, I'm never going to forget this. So yeah, um, it has been a while since I've recorded a, a part. So these guys here, it's Pokeball guy. So these guys don't say anything different. I wonder who is the Pokeball guy? Like, um, are we gonna find out his true identity? I mean, I don't really think he has a true identity. I think he's just a Pokeball guy. And this girl has been like in every single gym cheering us on. So let's, sh let's see what she says. It's a great champion, Humzy. I was the first one to see you had the potential to become champion. Maybe I can become a trainer. Maybe I can become a, a trainer. Trainer someday? Wait, what? Maybe I can become a trainer. Trainer someday since I'm so good at discovering talent. Wait, what? She said trainer. Trainer. Um, is that just like a error in the sentence there? Um, <laughs> I'm just joking. Seriously, those congratulations. I'm so happy for you. It's cool that she said um, like she was like our number one fan from the beginning and uh, Yeah, she is glad that we're the champion, but that was just kind of weird Like I don't really expect there to be like any errors there, but yeah, let's just talk to this guy Welcome champion Humzy. The tournaments here are always open to you. Of course give one a try won't you? Of course. Yeah Is there a particular trainer you'd like to invite to take part in the tournament today? Oh, so we can invite someone? Uh, we can say there is someone or we can say no one in particular, huh? So what if we say there is someone? Who would you like to invite to take part? Oh, so we can invite people to battle against. Cool. So Hop, Bead, Milo, Nessa, Kabu, Alistair, Melanie, Pierce, Rayon, Marnie. And just these guys. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so let's start out with the... Uh, should we start out with Hop or Bead? Uh, I really want to see uh, Marnie here because I know that she will have a different design. You'd like to invite Marnie? Yes. Very good. It looks like your invitation has been accepted. I'll take you through to the pitch now and good luck. Okay, cool. So like in less than a minute, Marnie accepted our invitation here. Oh, that's cool. So Izar, who's Izar and Vega? Um, are they just like random? NPCs, so like Pierce and Rayon are instantly gonna win. So let's introduce the participants. Okay, let's just run here and you can see that um, we'll have our team and oh yeah, Marnie does have a new costume here. If I want people to properly respect me as the new Spike Mutt gym leader, I need to show just how amazing I am by defeating you. Okay, nice. So yeah, um, I guess there is some new stuff here or stuff we haven't seen yet. So here's Marnie once again in her Team Yell gym leader uniform. And uh, yeah, it looks nice, although uh, maybe a bit too revealing, but uh, she sends out a Leopard here. And yeah, our Sandaconda is up here. I have our team of six that we used last time. And okay, so she's level 59. Okay, it doesn't seem like she has uh, really leveled up. But I think the song is the remix of the gym leader music. So um, that's pretty cool. Oh, so she went for Fake Out. Let's go for Earthquake then. And um, yeah, I was kind of hoping she would be in her 60s, but that kind of sucks. But yeah, our Santa Con here has an Earthquake because I did find some more TRs. So yeah, basically, I've just been uh, doing max raid battles, EV training our Pokemon with the Poke Job. So yeah, you can see this is our team here. I mean, like a lot of them are still like around the same levels, but um, we have been uh, getting a little bit stronger and I guess we'll just stick in here because Mar Morpeko is an electric and dark type. So that, that's pretty cool. You can like pick who you want to battle against. So yeah, I want to see like what will Hop say if we decide to battle him. And she goes for the seed bomb. I guess that's why she picked her Morpeko. 
but our Santa Cana here is very bulky, so he's going to tank that like it's nothing, and we're going to drill run right into the Morpika. And I guess this is like her only level 60 Pokemon, if uh, I'm not mistaken. She's going to go for Scrappy, let's just stick to Santa Cana here. And yeah, that's uh, level 59, so yeah, I uh, battled Marnie in the last episode, so it might seem like we just keep on battling Marnie here. And um, yeah, like, I guess we'll battle some other trainers after we defeat her though. And she goes with Ice Punch, oh man, so yeah, should have seen that one coming because Scrafty knows the punching moves, but we're just, okay, so we can't go for it. Okay, let's go for the drill run. But yeah, so I just wanted this to be like a more chill video because we have beaten the game now. I'm just gonna be like relaxing a bit, doing like some random things, like some extra stuff in the game, like challenging the Champion Cup once again. And okay, Toxic Crow, let's uh, switch out into Ghost in here, why not? And yeah, just talking about things and like my channel, maybe a little more about myself. So yeah, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was Kappa because like that's a hot topic right now. Everybody seems to be talking about Kappa and how it's affecting YouTube. And yeah, it's like one of the biggest things like in recent times that is affecting YouTube. Like the last thing that was like pretty big was like, uh, what was it? Um, net neutrality. And um, it seems like, I mean, like I don't think anything really happened with net neutrality. But I remember that was like a big deal everyone was talking about. But I'm glad like, um, nothing really went on with that, so let's switch here. Let's go into our Oxyge, well, hmm, yeah, let's have Dark versus Dark, why not? And we can, uh, Dynamax our Oxyge as well, so yeah, Oxyge usually watches my videos, so shout out to you, Oxyge. And, um, yeah, he was actually asking me how Kappa would affect my channel and, like, what I felt about Kappa. I mean, I am worried about Kappa, but, um, I believe that, uh, you know, things will work out, so we can go for these moves here, but let's just go for a max strike. I think that this Grimmsnarl won't be that strong, although I'm pretty sure she's going to Gigantamax for Grimmsnarl. And like, the Gigantamax Pokemon are super hard to find, like, you need to do the max raid battles in order to even, like, find them. And, like, it kind of sucks just how hard they are. And the only Gigantamax Pokemon I actually have are Gigantamax, Dredna, Santa Scorch, uh, let's see who else. Okay, so she didn't have any dialogue there. Um, that was kind of weird because usually they have dialogue when they uh, Gigantamax, but I guess like she doesn't really have anything to say. But yeah, I think just Dredna and Santa Scorch, so yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I, I really wanted to get Butterfree and Santa Conda, but I, I keep on failing those. Like, they are really hard to catch. Like once you defeat them and it kind of sucks but you know I'm just gonna keep on trying and like a lot of people are having trouble with it as well and people are actually like exploiting there's this like uh, exploit you can do to like keep on battling the max raid battles and like look at our Obstagoon versus the Grim Snarl here looks pretty epic but we're just gonna end him with uh, another max strike I guess and yeah, I really like Gigantamax Grimmsnarl. He looks pretty cool. Like when I first saw him, I was like, wow, that doesn't look like a Pokemon. And he still doesn't look like a Pokemon, but I really like how he looks like. And um, yeah, but anyways, like I was saying, I was talking about Kalpa, then I was starting to talk about Gigantamax and the nice raid battles. But yeah, it looks like we defeated her. Our Obstagoon returns to normal here. And Gym Leader Marnie has been defeated. I mean, if you're gonna win, you could at least win in a way that makes me look good, right? So I tried, you know, I gave your Grim Snarl a chance. I've been losing to you since the gym challenge, and I'm getting a bit fed up. Oh, now she's mad. Like, we keep on beating her. You better battle me again. Okay, well, um, it seems like she doesn't like losing, but I mean, I don't know. It's like, if we did battle her again, like, she would just lose again, so yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna battle her again anytime soon because like we battled her a lot already now let's put yuri up in front and wow so we're battling her brother now i'll get the onions pumped up even without using dynamax uh so that's all he says just like the standard dialogue i guess but at least marnie has some like different dialogue pokemon trainer pierce so 
he is not gym leader pierce anymore okay so that's an interesting little tidbit i guess but yeah so i was talking about kappa like i was worried about it like i am still worried about it like um i haven't made like pokemon anime videos and um that's just sort of because because uh, like i am a little bit busier now and a little bit because i am worried about kappa but i mean not really worried about kappa more like i'm worried about the pokemon company like um okay yuri's dozing off here they said but like um even people who upload pokemon episodes on youtube are having trouble now because like showpro is a company that sort of owns the animation you know the pokemon anime company and a tv tokyo and they are kind of like cracking down on uh, people who upload clips and you know I'm just worried about my channel because like I upload some clips of the Pokemon anime and I review the Pokemon anime and um, yeah okay so he's going to Malamar we're just gonna stick in here hopefully we made the right decision although Malamar is a pretty creepy Pokemon but yeah so I was just a little bit worried about that and yeah also been busy with school. Oh, we just take out the Malamar. Nice. So I guess Malamar doesn't really have good defense. So he's gonna send out Obstagoon. Okay, Obstagoon is a Pokemon with good defense. And this Obstagoon is actually pretty scary. And I guess um, this is our second time battling him. Because I don't remember battling him before, like, other than the gym challenge. So, yeah, I guess this is our second time because, yeah, I don't remember battling his Obstagoon. Although, I'm, I could be wrong. But I just remember his oxygen was like such a tank and like he was really bulky and powerful. But let's just go for the uh, drain punch, I guess, or drum beating. Let's just go for the drain punch here. Let's see what his oxygen will do. I was kind of expecting him to go for the obstruct, but wow, we just take out that oxygen in one hit. So he wasn't tanking that. I mean, last time he tanked up our moves pretty nicely, but I guess this time he wasn't gonna like tank anything and let's just stick in with our really boom here so yeah probably starting well i want to say next sunday but yeah I don't, i'm not sure if he had toxicity before but let's just go for it quick and this should take him down but yeah because um school has gone kind of hard now and i just have three weeks of school left so i really got to focus on school and college and stuff because i'm working on my master's degree and engineering management so yeah i want to become an engineer one day and um yeah i i really like talking about pokemon though and like doing pokemon stuff so uh yeah that's why i created my channel clumsy plays and i just want to like share my thoughts with you guys and um like learn more about how you guys feel about things and like um you know have some discussions with you guys and that's why I like making videos on the Pokemon anime and stuff. Okay, Oxy is level 70 now. He has entered the 70s range. And Pierce here being hopeless as usual. That's it. Pierce doesn't do encores, but I admit I'm tempted right now. And um, yeah, so we beat Pierce battling you. Makes me want to try out a new battle sound. Maybe a Pokemon battle and a gig combined. What do you think, huh? Could sound battles be a thing? Sound battles, huh? that's interesting oh so now we are battling against hop it looks like hop is here um i didn't expect hop to be here but okay so let's put colossal in front colossal hasn't gotten a chance to shine and you know colossal is sort of like macargo except a little bit better and wow hop is here i wonder what his dialogue will say i want to become a legend in galar no a legend for the whole world and if i want to do that i need to beat both you and my big bro Hmm, that's kind of interesting. I mean, we learned that Hop wanted to become a Pokemon professor, but then why does he want to beat us and our big bro and his big bro? Um, maybe because he just wants to become a legend, but uh, that's sort of contradictory to like what we learned about him. Like, at the end of the last episode, we learned that he wanted to become a professor, but here he says he wants to become a legend, so I mean, it's a little bit strange, but it does seem like he at least leveled up like this is like the same level he was like in the last episode so i'm glad at least he is pretty strong and he goes for the cotton guard okay nice so yeah i really like hop's character and you know i feel like some people don't like hop's character for some reason but i think 
it's an unpopular opinion to say that Hop is an unpopular character. Like, I think um, the majority of people like Hop's character. And wow, our attack did barely anything because his uh, con guard did a good amount. But let's just go for flamethrower here. That shouldn't really be affected by his con guard. And he goes for the double edge. And it's not very effective. I was hoping that our special ability would activate flame body. Like, our special ability barely activates. But um, at least our shell bell activates here. And um, yeah, so um, I'm really glad that we're battling Hop. Anyways, what was I talking about? Ooh, our flame body activated. Nice. So this double's physical moves will do barely anything, and this should take out the double. But yeah, like, after these three weeks are over from my school, then I should probably, like, start focusing a lot more on my channel and making videos more consistently, because right now it's just sort of a hard time to be making, to be making videos. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys all understand and know you guys will, because... You guys are the understanding kind, so he's gonna choose Snorlax, huh? Um, hmm. Snorlax is a pretty bulky Pokemon, so, uh, oh, let's see here. Let's go for Oxyge here, because Oxyge can handle, can handle the uh, physical moves that Snorlax is just, is just gonna throw at us. So, um, yeah. He's gonna choose his Snorlax now, level 68, so yeah, it's pretty strong. And yeah, in the last battle, like, I was pretty underleveled, but here I'm, like, at the good level, so let's just go for the break break here. Break his Snorlax into, and, um, okay, so that's, uh, gonna be a two-hit KO, I guess. Looks like it, and he goes for the Heavy Slam, and that does quite a bit, but not really that much, so, um, let's go for another break break here. Hopefully this will take him out, although we did, like, exactly half. So I'm kind of worried that we wouldn't take it out, but we did take it out. And, um, yeah, okay, so he has Zashian. Okay, nice. That's cool. He has Zashian still. So at least there's some continuity here. Okay, so Zashian is a fairy seal, so let's just go for Rillaboom. Because Rillaboom is our strongest Pokemon. And yeah, I do plan on, uh, doing the Battle Tower. And, um, some other stuff in this game, like showing off the max raid battles. You know, some more random stuff. But, um, no more, like, story-related content, I guess, but just, like, some interesting stuff in this game, because this game is still brand new, and there's still, like, so much to do in this game, so let's see, what should we do here? Should we go for the Dynamax? Why not go for the Dynamax? And I guess the Max Quake, because this will be super effective. And, um, well, actually, his Zacian probably has that move, Intrepid Sword, which does double the damage if I am Dynamax, so maybe this wasn't the best decision to make. And maybe I'll regret doing this because I forgot, like, both Azashi and Zamazenta have this move, which, uh, does double damage. But you can see here, our real boom has 530 HP, which is crazy. Yeah, Behemoth Blade, that was the name. I was thinking of his ability, Intrepid Sword, which raises his attack stat. But man, this is gonna do a number on us. Wow, and it does. Wow, that's crazy. He took out a ton of our HP. Wow, that's pretty scary. Hopefully this max plate will do a good amount, and oh man, we didn't take him out. I was so close though. And we raised our special defense, which is kind of worthless. And um, yeah, uh, I gotta switch out now because like, um, like I really can't take another hit. So what, what typing is on move? I think it's fighting. I want to say fighting. Could be steel. I, oh yeah, it's, it's probably steel because like, normally that move is based off of Iron Head, so since that move is a Seal type, let's just go into our, uh, Go Sin here, and Go Sin should be able to handle this. And yeah, it kind of sucks that Aurelion wasn't able to one-hit KO the Zacian, but yeah, Zacian is a legendary Pokemon, and, uh, he's pretty bulky, so, yeah, I understand that. And, um, Go Sin here should be able to take him out, though, hopefully, and he goes for the Behemoth Blade once more. And yeah, when you're doing max raid battles, like, you usually see Zacian, Zamazenta, and Eternatus a lot. Wow, that still did a lot of damage on us, even though it wasn't very effective. But let's just go for the, uh, Drill Tech, I guess. Hopefully this takes it out, and wow, he goes for close combat now. Oh man, that, that takes us out? Are you serious? Oh man, this is kind of getting scary. So he takes out our ghosts in here. 
Do we have anyone fast? Oxyuge is our fastest Pokemon. Okay, so let's go for Oxyuge, even though uh, his close combat will definitely hurt us if it manages to attack us. Um, okay, let's just go for the uh, Brick Break here. Hopefully we're faster. Come on. Oh man, we're not fast here. Are you kidding me? And Oxyuge goes down. Oh man, so are we going to lose here? Um, I hope not. Last time we won because of Zamazenta. What about Sandaconda? Sandaconda has good defense, so hopefully Sandaconda can tank something. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping for that. But anyways, what was I talking about? Let's go for the uh, Earthquake here. Let's not risk Drill Run because Drill Run doesn't even have 100% accuracy. And he goes for Bohemia Blade. Will we survive? I think we will. Come on, Sandaconda. Come on. We don't survive? Are you serious? Okay, now I gotta probably be smart. Um, wow, yeah, I have to be smart here. Um, I gotta probably heal up Rillaboom fully. Or just like stall him out, I guess. Because that's kind of scary, like he, he just keeps on using his moves. But yeah, I'm just gonna heal up. Let's see, I need to use a max potion, I guess. Because uh, I can't risk just using a hyper potion. Man, I, I, I like wish that hyper potion healed up. Um, maximum HP like it used to. Well, it didn't used to. It used to do like 240 HP and then they reduced it down to 120. Wow, he's going for Swords Dance. Okay, man, this is getting kind of scary. Uh, he's just like ready to sweep our team and just like he still has a ton of Pokemon left. So let's just go for Overdrive here. Hopefully we can live this. Okay, he goes for Crunch. Uh, come on, Yuri, live this. Wow, Yuri did not live that. Okay, so am I actually gonna lose here? Um, come on, I need Colossal to burn him. Um, let's see, and then I'm probably gonna have to like switch out. I wish I had a Pokemon with a priority move here. But let's see here, what can we even do? I need to like use a Max Revive on someone who can tank up a hit. Um, Ghostin wasn't able to withstand anything. Oxyge here. I need Oxyge. Oxyge might be able to withstand something. He goes for the close combat here, come on. Get the burn, get the burn, get the burn. Come on, I need you to get the burn come on get the burn oh man i didn't get the burn oh man this is scary uh i did not expect it to go this way okay so we're gonna go into rillaboom here i hope that rillaboom can survive come on rillaboom uh let's go for the uh, uh earthquake here come on come on rillaboom survive oh man he went for swords that still so this is gonna do a ton uh, come on, Rillaboom. Somehow you've got to survive this. Okay, nice. We survived him with 1 HP. Okay, so Rillaboom toughed it out. Nice. So that can't be... I was counting on this, to be honest with you guys, because, like, there's no way uh, we would have survived any any other way. Wow, so, man, I should have been a little bit more careful, but I thought for sure we would have got that. And, okay, so he's going to go for Inteleon now. Let's go into our Oxyge here because our Little Boom only has 4 HP and Inteleon is a pretty fast Pokemon. But man, that was kind of getting me nervous because like I'm not prepared to lose. Like I don't want to lose. And uh, like I just wanted to show this off and he's out here with his Oshian. And um, yeah, but anyways, let's uh, go for the Night Slash here. We're both level 70. And Hop is actually pretty serious in this battle. I wonder, like, what would happen if we, like, actually lost, though? Like, is there dialogue for Hop for when we lose? I mean, I feel like there wouldn't be dialogue. Okay, that was a crit. Nice. Let's, uh, go for another nice slash here. He goes for another snipe shot. Okay, so this should do more damage on us because his ability Torrent is activated. Oh, man, so Oxy's toughed it out. Nice. See, I'm really counting on the hacks here and the luck we have with our Pokemon. Okay, nice. We got a crit. Okay, cool. Another crit. And um, Oxy's gained a level. And Corviknight. Okay, so he has a Corviknight. Uh, man, this Corviknight might be trouble for us. Okay, so his Corviknight is level 70 and has unnerved, so I should probably bring out one of my other Pokemon. Let's uh, go for Obstructo so we can uh, live. Oh man, he's going for the Dynamax on Corviknight. Oh man, this is scary. And he doesn't say anything, so I guess they don't really say much in battles. And um, yeah, it's Gigantamax, Corviknight. 
Okay, so maybe this is a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have shown off the champion cap. Maybe I should have brought out my, uh, let's see, my uh, Zamazenta. Because Zamazenta is a pretty strong Pokemon and yeah, he is, okay, he goes for G-Max Wind Rage. Oh, that actually breaks through our obstruct. Oh man, we weren't able to protect ourselves. Oh, wow, we only have Rillaboom left, so I need to just use Max Revive, Max Revive, Max Revive now. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, uh, wow, I'm like really uh, struggling here against Hop. It just goes to show you that Hop is really overpowered here. Let's uh, bring out our Yuri here. Hopefully, we'll be able to use him overdrive. Hopefully, that will take out his Corviknight here. And um, okay, so okay, nice. Rillaboom tanks that up. Wow, I did not see that coming. And um, wow, that's so cool that Rillaboom is able to tank that up. So maybe we should like switch into one of our other Pokemon. Let's just go for Drain Punch. Hopefully, we are faster, and we are faster. Nice. So we get the Drain Punch off, and we heal up a little bit. Although this won't be enough. He goes for the G Max Wind Rage again, and I think this will take Rillaboom down. Okay, and it does, but Rillaboom tanked up two hits, so Rillaboom really uh, pulling through for us there. But anyways, yeah, what was I saying again? Just like how much I want to like explore this game, and I want to complete my Pokedex too. Hopefully Yuri here can tank up the hit. Hopefully uh, Hop doesn't have like a ground type move, but I'm really risking it here. Let's go for the overdrive. Okay, so he just goes for the light screen. He knows his time has come and like he can no longer escape. But wow, we just use like so many uh, max revives in this battle. Hop is probably like pissed off at us. And he goes for a drill pack here. That won't do that much. And Yuri here is gonna clutch this win for us. Wow. Um, that was a lot more than I thought it'd be. So I probably should have over leveled a little bit more. And um, yeah, okay, so Hop here, disappointed. But um, we know the Hop is a professor. Oh, he wants to become a professor. Uh, gutted. You're always one step ahead of me, mate. Alright, so. I mean, Hop can still be a battler here. Even the pages detailing my defeats will add to the tale of my brilliant legend. But I don't plan on losing to you again. As your rival, I promise I'll win next time. Okay, nice. So at least Hop still has his fighting spirit. And, uh, okay, so, congratulations on another victory. Please take your reward. What is our reward? Pokeball guy? You're on a roll. You're on a real roll, champion. Let me offer my ultra great congratulations. I'm really feeling bowled over here. So here, take this and have a ball bowling. Oh, we got a wishing piece. Nice. Okay, so we can use that to, like, uh, make a den reappear. We look forward to your next visit. Okay, nice. So... I guess that's that, and um, yeah, you can see here, there's some, uh, well, there is some stickers here, you can see on the left hand corner there's some stickers, but over here, there's no stickers, so that's uh, kind of weird, but um, yeah, so I just wanted to show off the champion battle, like what would happen if you were to do it again, I didn't know like you could pick who you want to battle against, so you could actually pick like a lot of people, like I think like they had all the gym leaders, so that's pretty cool. And what's on this side? Like, they have some stairs to go that way, and also to the right. So what is on that side? Like, maybe we'll never know. Like, will one day this, like, fencing not be here? I mean, I feel like they just have that, like, for show. Like, they don't really, uh, do anything or mean anything. Yeah, let's go in the Pokemon Center here. Our Pokemon... Uh, okay, they are healed up. Okay, nice. So, yeah, I wanted to show off some Pokemon I caught, because, yeah, now I'm working on, uh, filling up the decks and um, I also caught some ditto so I have been breeding and surprise trading because yeah I need to like trade with a lot of people to like fill up my decks I still need like the other two starters score bunny and sobble so yeah if you guys are playing this game and want to trade with me definitely leave a comment down below and uh, yeah maybe we can trade but yeah I want to do some surprise trades you know maybe I'll make a few videos on like just like exploring doing mass raids breeding you know filling up my pokedex and wow look at the zamazenta stats here so i have been like ev training his attack stat through the poke jobs and i've actually been using that exploit where you can like uh, change the date 
and I'm, um, you know, using the uh, den, like once you like connect to a den and then press on the home button and then change the date to be like a day forward or something and then back out of the den, like that makes it so like a day actually has passed and you could like get a lot of watts doing that and you could also like change the days and you could like make your Pokemon like basically train in like less than five minutes, like you could have them go on a Poke job and uh, yeah, that's a really cool exploit. Oh, well, I don't know about that, if it's cool or not. Like, it's definitely not the intention of the developers to have that, but it's, like, super easy to, like, train. And, like, if they're not going to patch it, like, might as well just use it. So, yeah, I caught a Flygon here. Um, Tyranitar. I think I've had Tyranitar before, but, yeah. Um, a lot of Pokemon, like this Gallade. Gallade? Gallade? Do you pronounce it Gallade or Gallade? I mean... It's, maybe it's like Gladiator, but um, I always pronounce it like Gallade, not Gallade. So uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. Tell me how you guys pronounce Gallade. Is it like Gallade, like G-L-A-D-E, or Gallade, like like gla Gladiator and Gallade? Gladiator and Gal. Uh, like, hey, Gal. And I was like reading some of these uh, Grookies here. You know what? Let's do a surprise trade. See what Pokemon we can get for this surprise trade. Because I haven't like surprise trading, which is like wonder trade. But they just call it a surprise trade. And you know, I have this female Grookie, which might be better than a male Grookie. But let's just trade some Grookies. This one raises special attacks. So this one is obviously not good. So let's trade off this Grookie. Let's donate this Grookie out into the world. And hopefully we can get a good Pokemon. So it is searching for a Pokemon right now. And let's actually... And what else did I want to do? So I wanted to show that off. I wanted to do the Battle Tower at some point. Maybe not now. So let me just like go to the uh, wild area here. And like see what raids are there. Like max raid battles we can do together. And just show off for you guys to see. And you know, I still love catching the max raid Pokemon and battling these guys but see it doesn't seem like there's anything in a while there is a uh, copper and uh, that was actually pretty cool like I actually caught one of these guys who was just like standing here and um, yeah so I have him as well so I don't know where he is um, but yeah he's a pretty cool Pokemon and he has a Gigantamax form too but in order to get the Gigantamax forms you have to do a max raid battle so yeah this particular one um, okay, wait, not Oxida, this Copperidja. Like, you can't get Gigantamax forms for Pokemon you already own. So that kind of sucks, because, like, you know, you might have a Pokemon you love, like this, uh, I love my Colossal here, but, like, and I also love Sandaconda, but there's no way for me to Gigantamax them. Oh, and then, oh, our uh, trade is complete, so let's see what we got. Hopefully we got something good. And, um, okay, so someone from Japan, it looks like. Nice. Hopefully the luck is shining on us. And we got a Timple. Ah, uh, I already have all of Timple's evolutions. So we're just going to donate that Timple back into the uh, surprise trade here. Because, uh, you know, we don't want a Timple. We want the starters. We want cool Pokemon. And it's actually possible to get some cool Pokemon from this trade. So yeah, I'm just going to donate this temple back into society here. Okay, was it this one? Um, let me just check out this one's stats. Um, no, this one's mine. This one says the original trainer was me. So where is that temple? Uh, that's so weird, like trying to find a Pokemon, especially when uh, you have so much Pokemon. But um, yeah, let's see, where's that temple at? Okay, I think it's this one. No, this is the one I was just looking at. Um, where is that temple? You guys see a temple anywhere? Uh, I would think he'd be here. Maybe, I think, maybe he traded the same spots. Okay, uh, he did, he did. Okay, raise attack. Is he any good though? Uh, I mean, uh, Palpitoad. He's adamant. That's not terrible. Um, yeah, it's not terrible. But Seismitoad, I mean, I, I don't really care about Seismitoad that much. So let's just donate this temple back into the surprise trade. You know, that's the fun thing about surprise trade. You never know what Pokemon you're going to get. And uh, 
Like, there's still so many flaws with this uh, YCOM system. Like, it's so hard to, like, find people to have ma max raid battles with. And uh, to, like, join other people's max raid battles is also pretty hard. So, yeah, that's, like, the downside of all this. But, um, yeah, the good thing is, like, you get loads of these technical records. And you can, like, teach your Pokemon a bunch of moves. And, uh... Also, let's see what else is there. The uh, the item drops, like you can get experience candies, and uh, so yeah, that's how you throw. That's how you use a wishing piece. You throw it in there, and then like you could like activate a max raid battle, and um, yeah. So um, I feel bad for sending the simple out because usually I like sending Pokemon that aren't like completely useless. But ooh, what are we getting here? Oh, Melsery, nice. So I actually want a Melsery. Because I don't have one in my Pokedex, so nice. And Maria, she sent us a Melsery. And I feel pretty bad because I just sent out a Tintle. But um, here is Melsery here. Uh, they say that any Patissier visited by Melsery is guaranteed success and good fortune. Okay, cool. So I didn't have a Melsery before. So yeah, that's what's nice about it. You can, you can uh, fill up your Pokedex. And I'm nice, it's a modest nature as well. So um, now I feel really bad. To Emiria here because I just sent her some random junk Pokemon I found and wow this one actually seems pretty good and she hatched it herself nice so thank you Emiria here uh, if you're ever watching this you probably will never watch this but I appreciate you for sending something good and um, let me just send out another Grookey I mean like I feel like the starters are pretty uh um like they're not terrible trades but I mean, they're not the best, but I mean, like, for me, like, I, I don't really have that much good Pokemon to trade. But, um, you know, I'm feeling generous. Uh, why not trade a Bulldore? Where is my Bulldore? I actually want a Gigalith. Um, hopefully I get a Gigalith at some point, because, like, Gigalith is exclusive to Pokemon Sword. And it kind of sucks, because I like Gigalith, so I'll need to find out how to gig get a Gigalith. But yeah, where is my Bulldore? Um, maybe I could actually like search for him, but I'm already like looking through here and I don't know where he is. Okay, so why not to search? How do I do the search though? Okay, go down here. Oh, actually, he's right here. Wow. Um, so yeah, bye bye, Boldor. Um, you were good while you lasted. Hopefully, someone will uh, like you. And, uh, you know, you'll evolve when you get traded, so there's that. And, um, I, oh wow, speaking of Boulder, here's another freaking Boulder. <laughs> wow, so, yeah, Boulder are actually sort of rare, but, yeah, I can't find Wild Gigalith, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks, but, you know, Boulder is out there. But yeah, I'm actually thinking of splitting this episode up in two parts because we already did the Champion Cup. So, in the next one, okay, so our trade is complete. So in the next one, we'll figure out what Pokemon we got in the trade. So yeah, um, let me know if you want to see anything in Pokemon Sword or Shield. And um, yeah, I'll make sure to do it if I can. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your continued support. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.